All right, this one's going to be on a script I started using for audiobooks, or you can use this for a very long podcast also. So any type of audio you want to resume, you can use this here. And this is all just command line. So you need, what do you need for this? M player and Python. Although he's using a bash script to wrap this into Python, so I don't know why, but there you go. That's that's what you need, Python and um, M player, right? Uh, how does this work? Pretty simple. If you ever listen to audiobooks or maybe podcasts, you know, it can be very long and sometimes you just want to stop and then uh, resume later. Most programs, they don't, uh, they don't have a feature to resume. So that's why uh, we're using this script here. It will actually allow us to resume where we left off and can pick up, you know, uh, especially if you listen to audiobooks. That thing can be like, um, like right now I'm listening to uh, Darth Bane audiobook and that thing's like uh, 10 or 12 hours. So, you know, you're not going to listen to it one, uh, one go. Anyways, how does this work here? Pretty simple. Uh, get the script, which is here. This is the script here, right? Make sure you have a chmod uh, executable and all that shit. Save that sucker. And you need to actually create a playlist. So I created a playlist here, which is called M3U. And inside that, um, let me give you an example here. So book one, M3U. Right inside that is just basically the name of the file that it's gonna read. So it's gonna read this MP3 file, basically this file here. So in here it's just one uh, track because this one is a long file. Uh, and if you want to play this, pretty simple. You do m playlist and uh, type in the uh, playlist name. So right now we're doing book one uh, M3U. And you see that we'll start playing here, right, with M player. Um, what else is it? What does it say? So it's playing right now is the book one, uh, the MP3 here. And right now our position is at 32 minutes and uh, 43, 44 seconds, whatever. It doesn't matter. Like, let's say if I jump here, let me just jump up to, let's say, 40 minutes here, right? Uh, if I quit out of this, Right, it will actually save the position where it left off. So right now, this is where we left off 40 minutes and 57 seconds, right, of the entire track. The entire track is uh, 12 hours and eight minutes here. Um, and what was that, 31 seconds? So, so right now we're at 40 minutes and 57 seconds. So let's say uh, I come back later on, I want to continue listening to it. I just run the same command again. Um, and it'll pick up where it left off. So right now it's at 40, 41 seconds, I mean 41 minutes now and so on and so forth. So that's how it remembers it. Now the thing that it does this is that when you exit, um, it will actually create this file. It's called the um, .pos file for position. So let me cat that out here for you guys. Uh, POS, what is that? Right, so basically what it does is that it will save the position or um, the timestamp of when you exit uh, M player, and it will save that into this file. And when it starts up again, the um, the playlist that we use, it will actually just read this file uh, with the timestamp, and it'll run you know whatever audio track you're on uh, for this um, MP3 here. It can be MP3s, AUGs, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Um, so that's how that works. Pretty simple. Um, what else I gonna say? Oh yeah, I actually created this um, alias too for creating playlists because I didn't want to do it manually. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. If I wanted to create a playlist for this uh, book three here, since it's only it's only one file, or it doesn't matter if it's one file or, or not, it doesn't matter. I'll give you an example of both here, but this is the function slash alias for this. So all you do is uh, type in this name and then uh you know the 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 what was that the word that you want to grab out so this is the file that we want to grab and with this it will actually create a uh, playlist out of that so this is our playlist that we just created right pretty simple anyway I'll show you the function for that here uh basically it will just list out everything and it will ignore the uh, m3u ignore the pos and we'll grab out the, the name of it. It's going to sort uh, the order and it'll create a, a playlist for you in uh, .m3u 
file just in case you wanted to know what the fuck that does but anyways this is our um, playlist that we just created right inside it is just um, what was that the uh, the word that we grabbed that was uh, dynasty and it has the mp3 in it and that's all it does here it's just that's how you create a playlist basically it's just um, points it to the file okay and you can use that to if we did it right playlist and dynasty right so from there we can actually play our files and when you exit like I said it'll create a dot uh, pos file for the position of where we left off now if it is a um, what the hell what I hit caps for um, if it is like um, one of these things here where it has like break it down to different chapters and these are multiple mp3s right um, sometimes they break into chapters but some of the other ones is just one continuous mp3 anyway same thing you can do create playlist and then use uh, grep for that one word that matches everything which this one is Tarkin and there you go it'll create a playlist of that All right so this is our playlist here this m3u file and you can cat that out too if you want All right it'll sort it out in order and this is all your mp3s in order and if you want to play that uh, you can do playlist and then uh, m3u and I'll start playing it now when you play with M player that's the re this is the reason why I hate M player with this one here because their hotkeys sometimes don't fucking work but anyways right now we're on track uh, one here or is this file is just basically uh, 01 dash uh, 85 here right if you want to go on to the next track and you hit enter and you see that now it says playing 02 enter 03 and so on and so forth uh, even if you exit in here it will actually still remember you know the track that you're on and the uh, timestamp you're on so right now is at 10 seconds here if I uh, quit and I, c I continue on again where I left off so you can see that uh, we're still on uh, what was that old three here right we're playing uh, track three here and it still remembers where we left off and it'll continue where it, it goes but uh, if you go like if you want to go to the next track yeah you can do that hitting enter or you can hit the greater than sign so you can do um, shift and then greater and then sign you can go on to the next one so right now we're on track uh, seven here right so right now it says seven now if you go back you hit uh, the lesser than sign so less than sign it will stop at where you you first began it's kind of stupid because it don't, it doesn't allow you to go back to the beginning so right now it's track four right we can't go on back to track one so I don't know and play is fucking stupid it doesn't allow you to go to the previous track uh, in the playlist that you have um, especially when you start it so if I started at four you can't go back to three as much as I want to press that fucking thing so that's why I hate about M player the, the fucking hotkeys don't work um, so that's it really for the program what I wish would happen and not sure if anyone's good at Python but if you can use this script and combine it with let me give you an example here I can use that play.py here that I showed you last time uh, with uh, Tark in here if you can combine it with this program which is an curse for um, M player and allow it to have saved position when you um, when you exit please do that and then let me know that would be great because I actually like you know the end curse interface to do this but it doesn't have the resuming feature or the saving where you left off feature right so if you can do that either with this program uh, which is called play.py or whatever or the other one is called cplay which is the original file of this or I mean the original program of this uh, any of those will be fine if you can actually uh, if you're good at Python do that for me that'd be great and um, allow it to have a resuming feature uh, you know where, where you left off anyways a uh, very long video for something so simple but uh, that's it that's how I've been uh, using it for audiobooks and 
like I said, some people probably don't use for audiobooks, but you can use it for podcasts too if you want. And that's it for this one. Post you everything with the um, link to this playlist that someone else wrote. Uh, that'll be it for this one.